Are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. We are back at it again for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings. Didn't have to go too far today. We are in downtown Somerset, right on Ogden Street right here. Big city pizza. I'm sure most of us have already driven by here, but maybe we don't know the whole story. So I'm here with our owners, Randy Curtis and Johnny. Gentlemen, thank you all very much for taking the time to talk with us a little bit about Big City Pizza. So, uh, not your only location, several other locations. First of all, tell us about uh, the, the business a little bit, how long you've been in business, and kind of how pizza, how, why pizza? It's, it's great. So, these, these two... <laughs> These two started in 2014. They, the first location was in Nicholsville, Kentucky. Uh -huh. From then, they've expanded to seven locations. This was the sixth location whenever we opened it here in Somerset. We appreciate you welcoming us to the community. Uh, we do fresh ingredients. We do fresh sauces. We try to make our pizza more with love. Kind of say it's not like your standard corporation brands, but we try to do everything like more with our love. We make sure our employees are all trained well and make sure that our products are always going to be the same consistency every single time. Um, I mean, this, this brand has grown so much. These guys have so much experience in pizza. Um, we're, we're just glad to be here. So, can, can you tell us a little bit about maybe what kind of, you know, I hear a lot about, you know, deep dish, New York style, you know, all these different kinds of pizzas. What do you guys kind of have here? What is your specialty, or do you do a little bit of everything? We do a little bit of everything. So these guys have created these awesome menus for every kind. We have a Chicago deep dish. I think we're one of the few that only have the Chicago deep dish here in Lex, like in this whole area, Somerset, Lex, and Richmond, we're the only ones that have it. We do a New York style crust, we do a hand toss crust. So we kind of have a ver ver variety of different things. So like we do also pastas, we do breadsticks. Like I said, anything with pizza, anything that you see at normal pizza stop, we always try to have that kind of menu items there. So, so. it's not just pizza, there's a little bit of something for everybody here. I know that I've come here now with my kids, there's stuff for them. I don't know a lot of people who don't like pizza in all honesty, but I guess, you know, you've got wings, you've got salads, you've got a little bit of everything on the menu to accommodate everybody that comes in, right? Yeah, for sure. We have everything. And like, Johnny, like, there's, they create new stuff every, like, every month we have a uh, specialty pizza. We're always kind of in the lab. We try to, like, uh, get some stuff going. We've won some pizza competitions throughout the oh, wow. regional areas, so we went to Vegas. We always try to be... You know, we always have our wheels turning to get different ideas, but at the end, we try to stay traditionally. We try to keep things basic and where it's good ingredients, fresh ingredients, where people come in here and get the same consistency. Sure. And, like, that's just our been our wheelhouse. We do we do takeouts. We do deliveries. We do dine-in. Like I said, this location has been really great because it is a little bit bigger location. So we have, like, a dining room. We have an arcade for the kids, a little small one. Then at the back, we have a, a patio. So... We try to make sure, like, whenever we we have this location here in Somerset, we wanted to make it a little bit different than some of the other ones. We wanted to be, like, in the center of downtown where people could see us driving by. And, you know, we were glad to be here because, like I said, this, this location has done great, really well for great us. Great visibility. For sure. Uh, so this, a lot of people might remember this when it was Friends. Yes. Bar and Grill. It was a huge complex they had. You guys have purchased this, you know, property now, and we've got, uh, the the tattoo studio over there, and then we've got my guys over here. Uh, Shiners, yeah, over there. Shiners, Dustin's yeah. my beard. He's my beard guy. Uh, they're they're awesome. Uh, would you care? Could we go inside? Could we take a look at yeah, the inside of the restaurant? Is that yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and walk here, in. We'll we'll follow you guys in there. Let's Tell go. us a little bit about kind of what's your inspiration for how you decorate it, and do do they all look a little bit different? They all they have all, their they all have their unique. They all have this, a different feel to them. But essentially, is think of the name. Big I City. love you know. First thing I notice always is you know there's a giant mural on the side of the building, which I think is about the coolest thing you can do. You know, we we're big fans of that. I think yeah. we were the first mural in this town. We took a big leap. People thought we were just blowing our money. We were not. I think it's an awesome. And we have people every day that take a picture out there, and I'm sure you probably do too. Then you've got a really cool, you've got art, so you've invested in our local, you know, artists. We appreciate that. Exactly. So that was the big thing. Whenever we came to Somerset, we were driving around looking at the area. We were like, whoa, there's logos or murals on every building. Yeah, it was not like that a few years ago. And it's and it's kind of weird because every location actually does have a mural at each store. Oh, cool. And so okay. it kind of just fit in with our, our business motto like we like to have something local we like to have i know we're walk over there we got like pizza wings that's like kind of like our thing like where you take a yeah. picture with wings behind you but what made this location super unique which we're about to go up to is that front mural of that 
astronaut because I think it's like the most unique uh, mural that we've ever made in out of our locations. This one was definitely a really big one for us because we wanted to bring the community together and be like, hey, whenever these guys come here, knowing that we're not from the area, but we do support local communities. So essentially, like, we made sure, like, whenever we built the Somerset, we try to get, of course, the lake. We try to get the water park. We try to get the fountains. And, of course, we have to put our end because, you know, like I said, we're big city pizza, so, like, we like to have, like, a city vibe whenever you walk in. So if you notice, whenever you came in through here, we have our big things are, like, signs. Like, sure. we like to have city signs. We have the hubcap wall right here. That's becoming a new thing that we've been doing. And then if you just walk through this thing, it's just we try to make it something unique where it's a, like a little bit of experience while you're eating here. So while you're waiting for your pizzas or while you're dining in or you're like hanging out with your friends here, we try to make it something like just different and have a like smooth vibe with our decorations and stuff like that. So, so I'm going to ask you a question. You know, not a tough question, but it's an interesting question. How did COVID affect restaurants, takeout, things like that? Do you see less people in the restaurant, more people coming in to pick up? and take out or is it about the same now is everything leveled out well, how, how's it changed more people order delivery and carry out now you know it kind of changed the name it's pizza we were built for this you know we were built for delivery and carry out sure absolutely and other other location restaurants that are dining and sit down they were, they were not necessarily built for that so it you know we we were we were better off than a lot of restaurants well know? it's i remember you know, I remember a few years ago before COVID, if you got carry out food from a restaurant, you never knew if that was going to be ice cold, how long it might have been sitting there. It was done pretty shoddy a lot of times. And COVID forced them to change their model. And now most of these new restaurants, when they build, maybe there's a little less seating area. Maybe there's a check-in door or an area just for people to come in and out. And I didn't know if pizza was affected by that or not. Because like you said, this is a traditionally something a lot of people probably just grab and go. Now, I like to sit down. I like the, I'm old school. I like to just sit down and I like to take it in, you know, have a drink, get to see the, the, the facilities, talk to the owner. I've gotten to know T, TJ and, you know, just rock solid, you know, get to know the people. But I bet a lot of people are just right in and right out the door. They make the call and they're in and out. So that's. The, so you were prepared for that, that's definitely COVID. for sure because like i said like you know the business originally whenever you think of pizza it's call in your order pick yeah. it up or traditionally is we deliver your order to your door so whenever COVID happened obviously that was like a huge hit to sure. every kind of industry hospitality anything that involves customer service because we're supposed to be away from people but the way that kind of worked out for any pizza industry especially for this brand big city pizza it's kind of excelled it because at the end, we, like you said, it was already built for this model. Sure. So we were already at a place where you call on your order, this thing goes through this oven, this thing is burning hot. So, you know, everyone's worried about like, you know, the virus and stuff like that. But you're like, this thing is coming out 500 degrees. It's feeling good. Sure. So it's definitely going. And then, of course, everything's sealed and ready to go. So at the end, like during COVID, the business pretty st stayed well maybe even better just because it was right. already made that way so obviously they not just pizzas like people were like oh i wanted some wings we had wings we had pastas we had all those other things so it kind of worked out perfect so everyone was like oh i just call my pizza place because i know they're open a lot of places right. that you normally go would be closed so the options would be pizza or maybe something else so all right so here's the big question that everybody's going to want to know okay tell us about the pizzas you have some unique pizzas right now. I know that I just ordered a pizza for my wife. It's a fi the fireworks, firework. So what is that? I don't even know what that is. What is that? Go ahead. This is a pizza mix of pepperoni, ricotta cheese, hot honey drizzle. Hot honey drizzle. Okay, that's I can see why my wife got that now. So, so you have some unique pizzas on your menu. I don't think a lot of people here in town have. And that's the maybe the local touch where you can change those add new things when you want on a corporate maybe those are, standard those are created by our employees by the way and really each, each store gets to create a, their own pizza of the month so week. what's in nicholasville may not be in somerset no, we do it at all the gotcha yes. okay so but each store creates their own for what, what was what was the one for here what did uh, would y'all create for here uh, no they're i think they're up, not next month but the next month. okay yeah so That's we try exciting. to like rotate it so like i said we have seven stores so Example, let's just say you're in Richmond. So it's Richmond's yeah. turn to make the, the pizza of the month for all our locations. So okay. you'd be the one, you, you would test pilot your, your pizza. I'm like, man, let's go and we'll go in, blast online. It's something different. I like and then that. so next, like next month, they said two months, the yeah. Somerset store will be the featured location to sponsor the pizza of the month. Another thing that we always talk about, see, these guys, 
like we eat pizza, like whenever we go on vacation, we make sure we eat pizzas at different places. So the big thing that we always loved growing up was Chicago deep dish. Like sure. it's very hard to make, um, but we made we found a way to make it happen. So menu, we're like one of the few locations that have that. But it, again, we have like just traditional different styles and all that stuff. So. I'm going to get Crystal to maybe hold up a menu okay. here so everybody can see that. So tell me about maybe what's your best sellers. That's kind of a fun thing. What's is it the traditional stuff? Do they like those? Uh, Pizzas of the month. What, what do people like? Is it just the good old nuts and bolts? Never, 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 never yeah. right? It's just, there's just too many people. Don't That's the. About and and when you order a pizza, you can get it any way you want. Can you get it? You can get it thin, or you can pick the kind of crust that you. Yeah. So just like any traditional place, like I said, we do a thin crust, a hand toss, a New York style. Sure. You know. So multiple ways you can get it. Exactly. Of these pizza. I like that. And that's the thing about it too. So let's just say we have a lot of specialty pizzas. Like you know, I said earlier, we took a few pizzas to the competition. So one of our most popular ones is going to be like the tipsy chicken. That's something that's oh, okay. kind of like been a fan favorite at a lot of locations. And there's another one that we made. It was a three cheese and mac. So it's like one of the few pizzas that actually have macaroni and cheese on it. It is like so cheesy. It's so good. And another thing that's unique about the way that we do things, a lot of places won't let you merge it, but we find a way to make, like, so let's just say you don't like the tipsy chicken, but you want mac and cheese. We can make sure. that happen. Like a lot of places will be like, we can't do it because it's like a menu restriction. But obviously we try to like accommodate to everyone because that's what we want to do. Um, that's kind of the thing that we try to say we're different. Do we still offer the Big Bambino here too as well? So this is another thing that a lot the of people Big don't. Big Bambino. Yeah, this is a very unique pizza. I can't believe you forgot about it because it is, you really got to, it's a 28-inch pizza. It barely fits through the door. You got to tilt it sideways. Holy cow. And it is good for life. Like a special box. It's like the size of that table. Man, I can grab a box for you and show you how big it is. It's crazy. So <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So, like, it's good for, let's just say you're having, like, a work event. You know, some people will get sure. those. Just like anything, though, it's a bigger pizza, so it does take a little bit longer to make. So that's one of the things wow. that we kind of forget about because it is a huge item, but it's a very specialty item. But it is actually on the menu. So Well, I love pizza, and I'll tell you, it's still one of the most affordable, you know, options for a group of people that there is out there i mean you can feed a ton of people in here it's incredibly affordable you know what i love is we preach about shopping local all the time that's eating local too you know we we preach you know what we practice over at the chamber you know we really appreciate you guys uh joining the chamber and you know don't forget guys they give us a heck of a chamber discount so if you come in you show your key tag uh, you can get, I think it's a free appetizer, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a really good discount. So when you come over here with the, with the, when you buy a pizza or not, I think it's a big, you have to buy a full large pizza or something like that, you get that appetizer. It's one of the most popular ones I think that we actually have on there. Mellow does one as well. Yeah. And it gets used quite a bit as well. So uh, pizza is kind of the universal, it's kind of the universal body. It's the, it's yeah. the, it's the puzzle piece around here. Exactly. Uh, Gluten free for people that don't, you know, gluten free crust. Oh, that's good yeah, to know. Yeah, you know, pizza bowls for yeah. people that don't want carbs at all. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of options for. I don't know about the, I, I don't know about these no carb people. They make me <laughs> nervous. Uh, but uh, I understand that you're trying to accommodate a large group of people, and that might be something that you can't find everywhere. So again, just another tool in the belt for you guys. If people uh, didn't see the menu, or maybe they just want to learn a little bit more about you guys. How do they do that? Do you have social media, website, anything like yeah, that? Yeah, so we're definitely on Instagram, Facebook. Those are the big things. But the best way to really look at it is BigCityPizzaKY.com. It'll have all the locations. Obviously, you're in Somerset. Click on Somerset. But the menu is going to be the same. So if you see the menu on that main page, it's the same menu here. So like I said, just to do an order, you can do online orders. You can do delivery orders all from the website. Obviously, you can call us directly. The phone number here is going to be 859-432-8870. Uh, Sorry, it's going to be the uh, 606-425-5010. 5010. Yes. we got to have that number. And, again, if you ever need any questions, phone number, BigCityPizzaKY.com. That's, 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 that's probably the best we way. Yeah. We go to Google. We put in Big City Pizza. It brings it up. We find Somerset. We look at the menu. That's how we all order in this day and age. For anyway, sure. so what's that? Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, make sure to come check these guys out if you haven't. Again, if you're coming into downtown on Ogden Street, you can't get into downtown without going right by these guys. Right next to Shiner's Barbershop. You can't miss them. The huge mural on the side of the wall with the astronaut and the pair of clippers. It's incredibly visible. Yeah, for Come sure. check these guys out. Next time you're looking for a local pizza, 
try these guys out. Gentlemen, thank you all again for taking a minute to, to do this with us. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go outside, we're going to go in front of that big mural, and we're going to do a, a in-person ribbon cutting. So we have another uh, Facebook live ribbon cutting next week. Until then, thank you all very much. Have a wonderful week. See you guys.